Hello, Kelly here from Root Pursuit. Today we are working on organizing ephemera. So we have lots of papers. I was going to do a tutorial video today, but my desk is a mess. And I thought, let's organize and do a video at the same time. So two birds, one stone. Anyway, this is the ephemera book that I was going to use. I had considered making an ephemera book, but I'm always a little torn because I don't want, I want to have clear pockets. So I, I think probably the best and most efficient way is to use these photo albums. So I got this one, I kind of modified it, it said time for school and it was very red and green. So I added some uh, opaque markers to it just to make it a little bit more the color I wanted. So before it was kind of like this color theme and now it's got multicolored theme. So, but it is just a photo album. It's got the little writing on the side so I can use that. And then also it has this little area in between where things could maybe fall in between. So I'm just taking a brad you can't use your hole punch because it won't, I mean, unless you have like a crocodile, it won't, mine won't reach far enough to, but that's fine because I was able to pierce through this with the brad itself. And I'm just gonna do that now. Do both of them at the same time. And oh, there's that. There we go, flip it over, spin those so they're the direction I want. Blam. Press those down. And, ooh, stab myself right under my nail. Ow, yuck. Okay, so there's that. So then that, that gives us a little bit uh, less likelihood of uh, getting those in there. I'm not sure about the side loading. I, I think top loading would have been nice, but at the same time, uh, you know, I can kind of put this any which way and it probably, it's less likely anything will fall out of the al album, which I have had, I've used in the past, uh, this type of album, which is just uh, top loading like so. And then I added some side pockets in the front that are also clear. Uh, so, you know, that's another way to do it. But a lot of times these are, uh, you know, if you don't hold the book the right way, then it kind of falls out the top. So it's okay. It works okay, but it's, I, I feel like I need some smaller pockets to kind of break things down a little bit more. So my first pocket I'm gonna do is gonna be my mushrooms. So I've got this one little mushroom and I've got, because what, what I had going on just was not working for me. So, let's see here. We've got these little mushrooms. And these are part of the Tim Holtz mushroom pack, I believe. There we go. Just, those are kind of fun to see. And we'll do that so you can kind of see what we've got in there. Uh, I've got this one. I'm going to try and put it in the back. Should have put it in first. There we go. That's not too bad. So then I've got that background sheet. And then I also have this little pocket here, which are my homemade mushrooms that I used using florals and fabrics. So... And maybe actually I want two different. Oh, why not? It seems like there's a lot in here. So I'm just going to make those two separate pockets. So this whole page will be mushrooms. And I wonder, I might just be able to take, there we go, that off and use it there. Not that you really need the label, but now I have a label. Okay, so there we go. Turn the page. Not too bad. Just kind of keep those together. And if I want to dump them out, 
I can take them out this way to look at them. So I'm hoping this works. I think it will. I think it's going to work. Okay. Flip the page. Butterflies. That's my next one. So these are some butterfly stickers that I have. And they fit in there pretty nicely. Uh, more stickers. Little tiny stickers. Do have a lot of butterflies. Um, yeah, maybe I'll put all the stickers in one. Runaways. Yeah, and these are more of those uh, Tim Holtz butterflies. Maybe I want to put all the bigger ones in one pocket. Mayhaps. So I do feel like the little ones kind of get lost sometimes. So we got butterflies there. And this one's pretty big, so that's going to go in there. Now, um, these are kind of, these are like rub-ons, but we'll put those with the stickers. More sticker ones. All right. That size kind of goes with this. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to put all of the butterflies that are facing that you just get the side view in one. We're going to have a little side view butterflies. I seem to have a lot of those. And sometimes I want them and sometimes I just don't. So, there we go. More side view butterflies. Break the antenna. I haven't had little ones over here. Oh my gosh. Those are stickers. These are side ones. Little tinies. I'd be surprised if those just fell right through. I got all kinds of little buggers in here. There's that one. And here we go. <laughs> and all these can go in here. There we go. So, butterflies done. Now, stay where you are. <laughs> all right, now what do we have? Oh, goodness. I like my birds, my small birds, and I use those fairly frequently. Although I don't have a lot of small ones because I seem to have used them up. Maybe we'll do illustrated birds in here. are actual photographs of birds and these are those are illustrated and these are stamps and that we'll just do miscellaneous I don't know if this is too many categories it might be too many categories oh found another butterfly 
Yeah. I am I this desk really is a mess. Now I'm gonna have all these containers that I don't have a use for anymore. I'm sure I'll find I know there's a butterfly in there. I can see it. Oh, oh. a dragonfly. Okay. So my old containers over there. This butterfly in here. And then this one. Is that gonna fit in there? No. Too big. Oh well. Okay. So we've got our birds. And I really want to do maybe leaves. Oh. Um leaves. I know I have container of leaves around here somewhere. So let me just do this one first. There's a leaf. Oh, where did I put it? Oh my goodness, I'm a mess. I got my flowers. We'll skip the leaves and move on to flowers. I'm going to put a couple in between here. I have a lot of flowers. Now, I seem to be sifting through these more. These are more Tim Holtz. And what's happening, I like the garland together. So these are like garlands. These can go here. And then I've got these that, are, that have like a tan background that are also Tim Holtz. Those can go together, and then a garland. That. So the gray backgrounds. And I, I know a lot of people sort their ephemera by like, you know, who made them. But I, I don't really do that. Which I mean, it's fine. However you want to do it, it's just not not how I think. I'm gonna do that one. Um, that one there, this one over here, runaways, I might as well put them in. And I really like the ones with the gray background, it makes a lot more sense than the, or tan or whatever color it is, it makes a lot more sense than the white background. These two are matching. Okay, so I might as well load this up in one of these. There you go. Some more of those gray backgrounds. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put my brads in to keep these separate. So I need to get that out. I'm really efficient today. I put them away already. Oh my goodness. Didn't even think about that. So, try see how I want to do this. Well, I might as well go from this side. Let me just check here. Yep, okay. And that one, flip her over. Hmm. There we go. Didn't think I had that one pushed down all the way. Seems like a little tool or something. Okay. All right, that's good. Those don't come out. Okay, that's stuffed to the gills. Okay. Here over there. That one, garland.
Looks like there's two of everything in here. That's kind of nice. Garland. Gray, oops, gray background. And there we go. And yes, I did shove those in again without doing the brad. Again. <laughs> okay. myself again. Try not to poke yourself. It's not a good idea and it doesn't feel good. Um, all right. So we'll get those in there. Now let's just see how fat this is. So gosh, it already is getting chunky. It's just get chunky so fast. So very, very fast. I don't know. What do you think about this? They spread out a little more. They kind of chunk up and, and then the pocket gets really open. Spread it out. I don't know. <laughs> Sure as heck did fall out. Do I have any removable tape? <sighs> I have post-it notes. Maybe that would work. That one doesn't want to stay. This one escaped from somewhere. <laughs> from before. Woo. Helps if I would actually put that on the plastic and not just on the stickers. Alright. Figure this out. It's going to work. It'll be fine. Those are staying. Good little birds. Okay, darling. My darling garland. I'm just like chucking the extra tabs. Okay. Stay. Flowers. Done. Sort of. I have more flowers though. I couldn't, you wouldn't think that would be all of my flowers. That would be just ridiculous to have so few flowers. Of course not. Oh, okay. More flowers. So these flowers, so these are the teeny tiny flowers. And for now, I think they're just gonna stay in that bag. They're gonna stay right there. 
these, however, I could do illustrated, illustrated flowers versus photography flowers. Or like something different entirely. Illustrated photographs. It's not a flower. Tech mom. Well, yeah. Got something. All right. Illustrated. Illustrated. nature. Maybe we'll just, ooh, look at that. All right. Something different. Oh, I mean, yeah, we'll put those together. That's fine. Illustrated, illustrated. And photos, illustrated. This one might be too big. Nope. I'm never going to remember to put all those in there. I just forget how fast these fill up when you put these the ephemera in these things. So fast. Technically a photograph. And yes, I probably have spent hours cutting out pictures of flowers. That's kind of different, something or other. Different, illustrated. Um, different, different. Photo. birds. Okay. Illustrated. Photo. Illustrated. Now oh, it's kind of a different thing. Illustrated. Oh wait, that's different. Photo. Photo. Face. Illustrated. 
Illustrated photo. Photo. Illustrated. Oh my goodness. Oh, pretty. Looks like a painting. Realistic painting, but it's still a painting. Okay. I'm seeing now that I could have broken these down a little more into different categories, but that's okay. Sometimes it's best just to do it and be done with it instead of... I, I might have chronic categorization-itis <laughs> where I just want, I just want to categorize everything and it's too much. I just, I just have to accept I have a lot of stuff. Maybe too much stuff. <laughs> Ready? Oh, these are butterflies. I think that should go with the butterflies. That's what I think. Three flowers. Okay. This is just going to go in like a miscellaneous category. Back to the birds. Illustrated birds and butterflies. Again, we're gonna go in here. Why not? category. Oh, a couple more flowers in here. Didn't quite make it. Illustrated. Real flowers. Oh, it's a sticker flower. Okay. There we go. Now let's see how thick this thing is. Look at that. <laughs> Everything's going right to the edge, and I'm like, still have lots of pages to fill. That's a dilemma. You stay in there, Mr. Mushroom. Now, all of these flowers are big, so they, okay, I'm just concerned about my small stuff. And these are, this is kind of like my random ephemera. Maybe put that in here. Ooh. Got some name tags. I got a Culver sticker. This is from like a name address. This is from the library tag. Just put that this way. And I've got all of these. Mailers. Put that here. I think they'll fit. Let's see how they fit. 
nice. And then maybe get some of our bulk outside of the uh, that end area. That works good. Good stuff. out this book. So this book, more flowers, 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 everywhere. So now some of this is like illustrated characters and I'm probably gonna go through there at some point and make them smaller because a lot of them they have like their backgrounds and stuff but this is like little houses illustrated birds just love these illustrations little animals a little girl a bunny a porcupine it's like got everything right there how cute is that these are some of my favorites we'll go animals we got a different category um this could be We'll just say animal, 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 people. This is like nature. Oof. People, 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 animal, animal. Oh, goodness. All right, we're going to skip over to part two. Okay, so I made a little progress and I am taking these off and I'm using washi tape instead, which I think is gonna work a lot better. Looks a lot better. And if my washi tape would, oh. This piece doesn't want to go at all. Okay. See how that goes. Oh my goodness. Gooey. Going in the garbage over here. Oh. Oh, there it goes. All right. This one here. And then, as you can see, in order to lift it up, you just do that. Pull them out, put it back. So that appears to be better. That's my thoughts. Okay, so this book is totally full already and it has lots more pages that are empty. So what I'm gonna do is spread out my flowers a little bit more. Take these off of here and just uh, sort them a little bit more. Maybe by color, just roses or, I don't know. But there's gonna be, maybe yeah, I'll do roses. And one. Oh, it's got roses and another type. Whoa, <laughs> roses. Roses. And roses. Those flowers don't move very much at all. It's like a combo, so that's. I think we'll just put some of these in here. Let's see if that goes. Even these out a little bit. That one doesn't go in there at all. I was sorting too fast. Too fast. Combo, that's roses.
Okay, I'm doing blue and purple. Blue and purple in one. These are coming out. You can do it. Okay. So, blue, purple, blue and purple, 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 multi, 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 pink. garlands. That works pretty good. Ooh. There we go. All right. Got our butterflies and a mushroom. Oh, hey. Put that there. like that needs something. Alright. Those stay put. How are these? These are staying put. More flowers. And this one miscellaneous flowers. And then this is what I also did. I these are um, illustrated boys, illustrated girls, uh, and illustrated animals, and more illustrated animals. So, and that helped us keep these a little bit lined up. So, still might do a little more. Those flowers are just so bulky, but that's how she goes. All right, I'll do a little washi tape. But other than that, that's me trying to load up this photo album. Uh, you know, I hope this helps give you an idea. Maybe this is something that would work for you. You know, it's always a matter of trying different things with ephemera and trying to get it right as far as storage and being able to see everything really well. So I think these pages will end up being more flowers or nature of some kind. I did have some bugs around here and I think maybe I put them in here, but I can maybe do another pocket of bugs. Those are pretty much all my, my categories. I mean, I have all my heritage stuff, but that is, uh, you know, in, in a different category. So, all right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped you. And if you like this video and you're interested in seeing more, you can go ahead and like and subscribe. That would be great. That would help me out a lot. And I will talk to you later.